Happy Star Wars Celebration, everyone. We're finally here. My favorite time of the year. You know, it's basically Christmas for us Star Wars fans, where we get all the fun and great announcements. Today was the Lucasfilm panel, and we got so many cool things announced. You know, more information on the Acolyte and Skeleton crew. We've got three new Star Wars films coming out with the return of Daisy Ridley and Dave Filoni making his feature film directorial debut. But I'm probably going to talk more about all that at a later date. You know, at the end of the weekend, kind of a big look at all the Star Wars Celebration stuff. But today, I couldn't ignore the Ahsoka trailer that dropped. For those of you that know me personally, I'm a huge Ahsoka fan. I, she is my favorite Star Wars character since her debut in the Clone Wars. I have followed this character through and through, through Clone Wars, Rebels, and now into The Mandalorian, and finally her own series. I've got the shelf up there where I've got all her stuff. I've got her lightsabers right here that I built out of Legos, and so yes. Very excited, been waiting for this one. I have to tell you, I did watch this one already. I'm sorry, guys. The trailer draft and I immediately watched it. I had to. But we're going to look through it again right now. And pray Disney doesn't copyright claim me. And I like that. It looks like they've made her Leku longer. Because that was my one complaint with live action Ahsoka. And we've got Sabine. And Hera. Some original characters. It's been a while. Things have changed. I started hearing whispers. Mm. About Thrawn's return. Yeah. And they say the thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's David Tennant back. Ooh, yang. And we finally get a date. Woof. So yeah, that one. Ugh, so much. We knew the show was going to be, you know, kind of Rebels Season 5, but I was so taken aback by how much they showed us in this trailer. I mean... Imagine what's in the show. And it's awesome that Dave is doing this, you know. I know he works on The Mandalorian, but that's a shared project with him and Jon Favreau versus this is... I mean, Ahsoka is his and George's creation, and so for him to be able to continue her story here in live action is awesome. And so right off the bat, we get the bean, which, if you don't know, is most people's favorite Mandalorian before Din Djarin. The Sabine we saw in Rebels, she is the young, spunky, traumatized teenager. And so I'm excited to see that it looks like this show. Mm, slight Rebel spoilers, but essentially Rebels near at the end has Sabine and Ahsoka going off on an adventure together. And it looks like we're picking right back up with that, with this Lothcat sitting here. So yeah, we have Sabine here, played by Natasha Lee Bordizo. I'm sorry if I said her name incorrectly. I'm not familiar with this actress, but I'm excited to see what she's got. But yeah, we've got Ahsoka facing off these guards of some kind. I don't know why, and maybe they are something from Legends that I'm not recognizing, but they do give me the old Star Wars vibes, you know, the old continuity Legends, where they're just that design. Something you would have seen in a book from the 90s. And like I said, it does look like they made her Leku a little longer, I wish they were a little bigger. I know it's because of the practicality, and you could argue that in animation it's purposely stylized, you know. 
like how Christopher Lee's face is not really a huge long rectangle like Dooku's is in the Clone Wars. But I really like her big Leku in Rebels, and I wish we could see him here. And then we get Hera, the return of Hera, who, no spoilers, but Hera also ended Rebels off on an adventure with a certain character. I'm curious if they will appear in this series. And Hera is being portrayed here by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, which is awesome. You know, great to see her continuing to get work. You might recognize her from Birds of Prey, Sky High, Final Destination, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Awesome actress. And she is joined by Chopper, not the character I was talking about, but still great to see him. He also made his live-action debut back in Rogue One. And then here we have two characters who are original to the show. I've got their names pulled up. Well, only his. His name is Balin, and he's portrayed by Ray Stevenson. And so, yeah, they look like they're on the side of Thrawn with his return. Some kind of either Sith acolytes or Sith themselves, Sith wannabes, and former Inquisitors, who knows? This is Ivana Sakno. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Again, not familiar with this actress, and her character hasn't been given a name yet. Mm, yeah, excited to see what she's got. See me see. And their sabers are like this more orange rather than the traditional red. So I'm curious if they're not so much Sith, but something else, something new. And then this is Lothal, a planet featured prominently in Rebels. This is where we last saw Sabine in Rebels before the show ended. And so I am curious to see, especially because this, I'm pretty sure this is Ahsoka's ship in the show. And she's joined by two X-Wings. wonder who's in there. Uh, those of you who have watched Mando, I think we can guess who might be in this blue one. Hopefully. Oh, and so then maybe that someone's partner is in the other one. And then we've got Mon Mothma back, which I guess, yeah, is cool to see her. Especially with this set after Return of the Jedi. We don't really have much in the new canon on where what she did or where she went after, you know, the triumph of the rebellion. So I'm excited to see her here and if she's getting involved because of the talks of the heir of the Empire and return of Thrawn. And then they give us just the sm smallest little peek at my boy. Again, Thrawn, one of my favorite Star Wars characters. I love the villain that doesn't beat you with force, but rather outsmarts you, and that's the definition of Thrawn. In Clone Wars, he is voiced by Lars Mikkelsen, Mad Mikkelsen's brother, and Lars is perfect. I love his voice as Thrawn so much. So I really hope, you know, Lars age-wise would kind of lined up with Thrawn's age here. And so I'm really hopeful that Lars portrays him in live action. This image here makes me question because this doesn't quite look like Lars's profile, but who knows? I'm going to stay hopeful. Hopefully we find out more during the Ahsoka panel tomorrow. My boy. And Ahsoka makes the comment that she's hearing the rumblings that Thrawn is coming back as heir to the Empire, which we know that originally Ahsoka, the Mandalorian, and Rangers of the New Republic were supposed to all culminate in a big crossover event that we had all kind of predicted was heir of the Empire. Now it looks like that might be happening here, slash maybe in Dave Filoni's movie that he just announced. And so we'll have to see. As you saw in the reaction, I <laughs> got so giddy because it is just awesome to see star wars go somewhere i'm sorry but i still enjoy the sequel trilogy but it kind of went nowhere and left those characters you know we haven't touched those characters since and now we've gotten the announcement that daisy ridley is back let's go this is diana lee and uh, santo i'm sorry if i said her name wrong she's returning as morgan elizabeth from mando and we know that she is an apprentice of some kind of Thrawn. She's an underling of his. And so, of course, she's back here. And we just get more of some showdowns. I'm curious what the setting is, what the glyphs and the lines and everything around. Like, they're almost in some kind of dome. We see this is, again, that Balin character and him and Ahsoka 
facing off. And I really like the way his saber is designed here with the cross guard, but it's not a bladed cross guard like before. It's kind of more accent than function, which is fine. I think it's cool. I think it gives the blade almost the skinny look that they have in Rebels, which I'm hit or miss on the skinny blades. Sometimes it looks cool and sometimes, yeah. I must go with those white sabers. Rosaria Dawson, good for her. I'm excited for her to embody this role. And the fact that it was passed down to her from Ashley is so nice. And I think both actresses are perfect. I will always be a little biased to Ashley because she is my Ahsoka. I'm assuming many people's Ahsoka. She is who I grew up with, hearing that character voice by. I think Rosario Dawson does a good job in the role as well, and so I'm curious to see her kind of get this opportunity. She's only been in cameo roles in The Mandalorian and Boba Fett, and now to get her own chance to really be this character. And they're doing a little duel of sorts, and I love this kick here because if you've seen any of Clone Wars or Rebels, you know Ahsoka's very acrobatic, a lot of movements in her fight, using her full body and her weight and things like that to her ability. So we already see that here when she, you know, instead of getting knocked back, she sticks her leg out to support herself on this wall. And then again, we see that character played by Ivana engaging Ahsoka in some kind of starfighter battle. And we see Balin attacking this... New Republic ship. Oh, and here we see this is Ezra. Because as you all have heard, I assume from the rumblings in Mando, Ezra is missing. Not given any Rebels details or spoilers. But yes, Ezra is missing. And so this show I had assumed was going to be Ahsoka and Sabine and the Rebels cast trying to find him. But it sounds like maybe he's coming to them with Thrawn's return. We'll see. Ezra here is portrayed by Aman Esfandi. Again, sorry if I mispronounced that name. But yeah, excited to see. I love that this show is basically just Rebels Season 5. And we just get more of these fights... Which will be hopefully fun. Uh, this looks like, looking at that saber, this is an Inquisitor. Which I'm curious if this will be some kind of flashback to Empire times. Or if we are just, there are still Inquisitors out there even after the fall. Because yeah, that's definitely an Inquisitor's saber. Because it does the spinning thing because they're not as in tune with the Force as they should be. Because they're not real Sith. Again, love the longer Leku. Love this look for her. Wish they were a little longer. And then this character, from uh, some of you might have noticed a little bit of the Scottish man's voice. This is this is David Tennant returning as Hu Yang, a character from the Clone Wars. And essentially, this droid is someone who assists young Jedi, you know, younglings, with crafting their lightsabers. He's an expert on it, and he helps them and guides them in their journey to build their first lightsaber. And so he says the line, perhaps it's time to begin again. And so I'm curious if it's going to be, you know, Ahsoka might be a little reluctant. You know, she says the line where the Jedi Order is gone, and she has renounced herself as a Jedi, you know, like we've seen in Rebels. And so I'm curious, you know, if Hu Yang here is... Is here as kind of the maybe it's time for us to start it together. Ahsoka and Hu Yang have shared screen time in the Clone Wars, and so I am. It's not like I'm jumping out of my seat to see him, but it's cool that he's back and that they got David Tennant to return from that voice role he did almost, uh, I think it has been 10 years now at this point. Wow. And we get one last final glimpse of her again with those white sabers. I love, I think both designs are cool. And I love the white for Ahsoka. It makes so much sense. Like I said, she's renounced. She is not Jedi nor Sith. And we finally get a date. We knew it was coming this year, but we finally get original series streaming in August. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this first little teaser we got of Ahsoka. The panel is tomorrow. I don't think we'll get a live stream of it or anything. It'll be behind closed doors, I assume. 
but you know we'll hear all that news and if something big comes out of it i will address it like i said i want to address all of celebration in one big video at the end of the weekend so stay tuned for that if you want to be ready for that don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell so you know when that one's ready thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one